you want to pressure one player because then they might make a mistake. Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are in Oosthout in Voorhout with Jeroen. He's going to play a match. So this is how you're going to structure your training before you're going to play a match. Because then you win all of your matches. And we're going to start right now. Amos. 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 Okay Jeroen, we're going to do some patterns that you have to use in the match. If you want to do match training, you shouldn't do anything technical more choices where to play the ball because if you change your technique right before the match you're going to lose all of your matches and that's not something you want so Jeroen if you have a forehand volley and you're at the yellow cheese over there you will play your forehand volley to the side wall uh, and then you play your backhand volley to the yellow cheese over there so that's the pattern um, when you play towards the center Jeroen it's better to play shorter yeah. before the white line so every time you change um, uh, the movement you have to change your position on the court okay you know, now we're going to try that your forehand folly is against the side wall and the backhand folly remains on this side so if your backhand volley goes with the second bounce here, uh, my partner can help me out. So you want to keep all the pressure on me. So you have to play your backhand volley slightly more to this side in order to keep the ball on this side of the court. Otherwise, your, the partner here can help and he cannot pressure. Seguimos. Nice. So if this opponent is worse, try to pressure him in this method. Could be, could be good. If the opponent is worse there, we do another pattern uh, now. But first we have to collect the balls. And I left my tubes at another club. Somebody found my tubes, please comment in the videos. Okay, now Jeroen, we do another pattern. Now we play cross courts. The line here is slightly more forward because if the ball's in the center, like there, you have to be more in the center to cover the middle. So now Jeroen is going to play his back and volley to the side, cross court to the side wall, and then he has to move here back to defend the middle because his partner is going to be there. Then forehand volley in the center, then Jeroen has to move in front and then he gets a back and volley there. So this is the moving pattern. Now it's more or less from forwards to backwards. So the pattern from left to right was different, was more left to right and stay the same position. So Jeroen, if something doesn't go well and you have a lot of stress on the court, then maybe better to play straight because you have to move less. Or you only play your, your, your volleys cross courts, so you can stay here. So if you have an injury in your calf, you don't have to move that much because you only play there. But if you change the position of your volleys too much, then it might be complicated. So if you have a lot of stress, you can slow it down to play only cross court or if you have an injury, only play the same position or when one opponent is worse, play to that position. And if you want to, you want to pressure one player because then they have more pressure, they might make a mistake.
Okay, maybe Jeroen with the backhand, prepare a little bit higher so he can play more to the side. So sometimes now your preparation is the same height as the ball, maybe have it higher so you can play the angle more. So if you play with defense, it's more difficult for the player here. One shot was very good, the rest was okay. <laughs> okay, so now Jeroen, uh, we play in the rally and you try to do this pattern, the cross court one. Uh, I play low most of the time and you try to, to uh, keep the pattern. I play random, so you don't know when the ball is coming to your forehand or to your backhand. Uh, you try to, to don't do like a scoring volley, but to heavily build up or build up the point. So uh, pressure me, but not with win winners. Very nice. Now uh, you try to play the pattern, but you can decide when you break the pattern. And sometimes I play high, and then you have to decide. The more you are positioned in the into the fence, the more you play to the corner. The more you are positioned to the middle, or when you're in the middle of the service box, you can play slow to the center or deep in the corner. So decide on your position what you're going to do. So you try to play the pattern and you can break the pattern just to be, to variate, that I don't know what's going to happen. Than the net, just play shorter. Be, be careful by lifting up the ball so the ball's deep. Yeah. So if the ball's low and it's there, I cannot play a lock here because I'm out of position. So like a bad drop shot sometimes is a very good ball. Or slow to the fence. So everything deep is a bad pattern. Yeah, well if you're gonna hit two walls, then deep is okay. But not if you just hit one wall. Then it's better to play shorter. If Jeroen is very far, close to the fence, to his own fence, cross court, and from there he plays to the center, the ball comes to me a lot. So then it would be better for Jeroen to make the angle to the fence or to the glass. Because uh, for me that's harder to, to get back. Because I don't have to run that far. But I think it's important to do those patterns just before you're going to play your, your tournaments. And then you break the pattern whenever you feel like it but if you have if you have a basic structure when you play the match it gives you a lot of confidence and a, and, a, and a plan to play so use this to play your match and you will improve and and that will make you win all of your matches you don't want to win the match you want to improve in the match or you want to play a specific game plan and if you do that right you will win and if you think about winning you will lose Thank you, Jeroen. If you want to see more videos with Jeroen, please like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And for now, good luck in your tournament. 
and uh, hasta luego. Ciao, adios.